Hey everyone, I'm the Fake Psychic, and having probably my worst idea since deciding to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog, I have a stuffy nose, I don't feel that great, so let's play some Super Smash Bros. Brawl. This is going to work out perfectly, I can just tell. I remember the first time I played this game, like the day it came out, and this loading screen took forever, and I was trembling with excitement. But that's beside the point. Basically a little update video to saying my nose was stopped up for a while and I didn't feel like talking and now I feel like talking and I'm still kind of medicated. So, yeah. Let's just forget entering a name. Let's play it on normal because we're not suicidal. And this is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It's one of the greatest selling games of all time. I think. Don't don't hold me to that one. Um, trophies play a very integral role because every character in the Super Smash Bros. universe, even all those audience members, they're all trophies. They're just fancy, I mean, like, Steven's... No, not Steven's. George... No. They are Disney animation... Disneyland-style animatronics. And we're gonna be Mario because I'm actually decent with Mario. I actually like a lot of the characters, and I like playing as a lot of the characters in this game. I'll, I'll point out the ones that I don't like uh, when they happen. And if you've never played Super Smash Bros., or any Super Smash Bros. game, basically 2D plane fighting game. I know a lot of the Street Fighter people are going to be like, no, it's not a fighting game, but I would like to hear what they have classified. Ah, Kirby ate me. It's not nice, Kirby. Not into that kind of crap. Oh, come on. That should have been a grab. Epic fail on the spiking there, self. Way to go. Like I said, this is this is gonna turn out great. Will you die, please? There we go. I'm gonna doff my cap there. And apparently we had watching people, people watching us, because there's nothing better on pay-per-view. Especially not in Kid Icarus Heaven. None of that ever happened. I never used the cape move. If there's weird tweaking, that's because I'm wiping snot from under my nose. And I know you all needed to know that. But there's trouble afoot. Oh my god, it's the battleship Halberd from Kirby. Meta Knight, what are you doing here? Or that's that Meta Knight is not made up of dark matter, man. And that is decidedly not Meta Knight. Oh no. Daintily drifting down. So now we get to pick our characters. No. Uh, yeah, like that. No offense against Kirby, though. Anyway, these are the primid, the main kind. Oh god! That was a smartphone. Oh god! <laughs> Ow. That was so funny and worth it at the same time. But these are Primid. Um, they are the bad guys in this world. They're made up of, I think they're called Shadow Bugs. Don't hold me to that. It's been a while since I've refreshed myself on Super Smash Brothers Cannon. Whoops. Let's not die. Stupid cloud, go away. And this is just kind of an arena thing. I just tripped there because Sakurai 
overused name. Oh, epic dub on the smart bomb. Last two primid. Dang it. Perfect. Just perfect. So why are there so many smart bombs? Who is that? Oh. That's the ancient minister. That looks unhealthy. Rob! What are you doing? That is not... That is not the stack up or the gyro set. Ancient minister seems saddened. Whoa! Bye bye, Mario. That was an amazingly fast incarceration, Mr. Piranha PD. And this is oh god, I've never noticed like the saliva in the mouth around the teeth. That's gruesome. But we got our first boss fight against our, um, PD Piranha. Only as Ooh, whoops. Only as Kirby, and you save either Peach or Zelda. You attack the cages, and they reduce the individual cage's life bar. Or you can just attack PD Piranha and lower both of them. I normally save Zelda, because Peach just will get kidnapped later anyway. And technically, both of these characters get kidnapped later anyway, whether you save them here or not. So it really doesn't matter. Trophy. Yay. Just got someone's mom in, in a trophy form. Whoa, that's a big gun, Wario. Oh no! Arrowed. And that's as good as a strong bad teen girl squad impression is you're gonna get out of me right now. You know, that's just gotta feel strange. I mean, you're being completely immobilized. That bomb's about- oh god, that- that bomb ex- Bombs don't work like that. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, Scenario Riders, but most of the time, bombs don't cause black holes. But that's the end of the first stage. We got a Unira trophy. They're the thingies from Clue Clue, Clue, Clue Land. Kind of a fun idea. Yep, yeah, people will join on our party. Oh my, fun. I have a intense mode file. I didn't, I didn't remember that. Oh no! No more pay-per-view for you. Mummy angry. That's uh, Palutena from Kid Icarus, in case you weren't aware. She's going to give us a present that is... It has a name, I don't know what it is. Also interesting fact about Pitt's semi kind of appearance. It was revealed at E3 this past year. Um, the new team, because Masahiro Sakurai, the developer of this game and the Kirby series, left HAL Laboratories. Um, and created a new development team called Project Sora. Um, and this was the new Kid Icarus game for the 3DS that was announced. When that happened, was one of the main games that they were working on. Uh, and this was a mini... Well, not mini, but... In gaming years, many years back. I think it was around... Uh, it was before this game came out. It was around 07 or 06, I think. Anyway, Pit can fly because he has wings. He's one of three characters that can do this, the other being Charizard and Meta Knight. There 
there's the battleship halberd again, and the combo cannon, and I'm a nerd who can still recall all these facts. You know that, that, ooh, okay. Oh no, they've primitive it in Skyland. That can't be good. So we're gonna do our fun things. I like Pit's weapon thingy. It's a bow that splits into swords because that's just a neat. Whoop. If I just grab those a trophy stand, you can throw it at enemies and they turn into trophies. It's like a dart gun, or a dart cannon, I think is what they're called, except so much nicer, because, you know, good guys aren't being dart cannon, but bad guys are being trophy stone. Maybe it's a more humane process. He's giving me so many of, like, similar items. Oops. What up? Whoop. I didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped it would. Home run! Also, this is by no means going to be a 100% completion thing. Because I know I'm going to miss a lot of things in subspace. Spoilers, we, we go to subspace. Considering this is the subspace emissary. And onward we go in the pit. Hmm. Oop. Blenders are not my friend. Moving platforms, kind of. There's, there's a love-hate relation. Whoop! Way to, way to jump when I push the button in the pit. And then when I don't push the button, or intend to push the button, you just jump. What's that uh, here? Absolutely nothing. That's just great. Oh, jicks. Jikes, I... This game doesn't have very good pronunciation guides. Give me your donut. Ooh! Ooh, door. I like how you get sucked into doors if there's not footing. Auto scrolling portions get used to these. All that for a trophy. They no longer shoot, you know, nice, gentle bolts of ball lightning. They, you know, they just go. And it's, uh, let's not throw the bomb inside the radius of the bomb. Oh, boy. <laughs> if anyone would like to explain what I just said, be my guess, because I don't even know what I meant. Well, I mean, I know what I meant, but... Roto turret! Ow. Roto turret. More screw attack for me. These things are like boosters. Whee. They let you glide quite ungracefully into the golden ending door. Mm -hmm. 
our wing. I love Star Fox games. Alright, spoiler. You know, I don't think I've... Uh, I don't think I have a Naked Snake trophy. I think that's the first Naked Snake trophy that I've gotten. And of course, save prompts are very important. Now we have Kirby and Zelda level. That's the thing about the Subspace Emissary story level design, is you got a lot of people in a lot of different places doing a lot of different things. And... Yeah. This is a very action-packed uh, start of the level, just throwing that out there. There's the combo cannon. Combo cannon! That seems a little unfair. I mean... There's all that stuff for that itty bit. Oh, snap. Fox, no! Oh, there they go. And they died. 